Welcome back, Hoodlings, to more Might and Magic 2 Gates to Another World. In fact, we are in kind of another world. For we are in another council at this point. I have decided after much research and many good reasons that we are officially changing over to the Genesis Mega Drive version of Might and Magic 2. And here's why. I made a little list, actually. Let me get it. Now, granted, the Super Nintendo palette, graphics, and sound are probably, I would go ahead and say, better. Uh, that's, of course, debatable. But I think after comparing images and everything, that the, the palette and the vibrancy and the colors are a little bit richer and, and uh, such for the Super Nintendo. However, uh, the Genesis version is pretty damn crisp. Uh, that's pretty much where the Super Nintendo version stops, as far as being better than the Genesis version. Uh, the other thing that I liked about the Super Nintendo version is when you attack the enemy, it shows the amount of hit points, which for whatever reason, this, the Mega Drive and uh, Genesis version do not. I'm not sure if they do in the PC version. But here's the kickers. So, I finally figured out that... The reason I wasn't doing any damage to the hungry plants and the sludges and the zombies and whatever other creatures I could possibly come across during the next hundred hours of my Magic 2, none of my male characters could hurt them. That's what the issue was. So as far as physical attacks, those monsters were only programmed to be hurt by female characters, which means if I wanted to do any kind of real damage, I would have had to have an all-female character party, which is fucking stupid. In the same version on the PC, I play tested a little bit, and on the uh, same version of the, the Genesis version, I play tested rather. And my males can attack hungry plants and zombies just fine. I haven't ran actually, I haven't actually ran into any sludge monsters yet, but that's probably because the Super Nintendo programmers' stupid asses fucked up and put them in that first town, which they have no business in being in because they're they're too powerful even for level six party which is ridiculous you should be long past this first town by level six so i'm pretty sure there was some programming slash coding errors and i'm almost positive like 99 fucking 0.9 percent positive which would explain why the game was never really released over here there was a, a different famicom version in japanese which is probably a good working version uh but the version by elite that we were playing is dog shit uh definitely a programming error and in fact I can prove there's more programming errors if uh, when we went to go train on the Super Nintendo version we were not getting full hit points we were getting our hit points minus any endurance bonuses that's not supposed to happen you're supposed to get your base hit points so for Lug Lug for instance his base hit points uh, at that point were 15 and then he got like plus 3 for endurance it was only giving us plus 15 per level here I get the full plus 18, 19, whatever it is, based on the new stats that we have, obviously, because I had to reroll all the characters, and also replay up to back back to level 6. Not a big deal. We're here and now, and I can tell you, after playing several hours of the Super Nintendo version versus this, the Genesis version is without a doubt superior to the Super Nintendo version. Um, there's uh, So you got the glitched enemies, the glitch training. Um, there, the other big deal would be the Super Nintendo version is censored. Uh, if we go to the bars and taverns now, uh, the beer is named, has the word beer and liquor and shots. In the Super Nintendo version, it was like fruit punch and, and Coca-Cola and shit. Also, you'll see when we fight ghouls and certain monsters, there will be bloody uh, limbs and things like that. Uh, those were taken out of the Super Nintendo version. And also, the the monster animations are better in this Genesis version. There's much more character and uh, animation going on in the actual character in the actual monsters themselves. We can go do a little, a couple little battles just to kind of get things kicked off here. The interface is also superior as hell. Um, as far as moving around, the menus. The Super Nintendo has a huge lag, so you'd press up, down, left, or right, and it would take a fraction of a second to respond, which is fucking annoying in any blobber game. 
any game period, but especially a blobber where you're moving square by square by square, things like that, and you want it to be accurate and quick. That was just not fucking happening. Alright, so... I am sure many, 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 many of you are happy that this change happened. If you want to, uh, for whatever reason, suffer through a uh, broken and, uh, frankly, shit version of this game, then by all means, go pick up the SNES version from Elite that I was playing and have at it. Uh, it's not a particular ROM burn or image that I have. I looked on YouTube and another guy that was let's playing this game on the Super Nintendo. Same shit was happening. When he would attack the hungry plants, only his females were hurting it. That is not supposed to happen. The hungry plants are not fucking immune to male attacks. Dumbest shit I've ever heard. So anyways, let's go over our party at this point since everything's a little bit different. I got them all to level 6, which is, I think, where we left off with the Super Nintendo version. The stats are harder to roll higher stats on the Genesis version for sure. I spent probably four times the amount of rolling to get uh, these stats, which are probably not as good as the ones in the Super Nintendo. And, besides stats, the auto map. The auto map on the Super Nintendo is broken as well. In this auto map, it actually just shows you what you've explored if you have cartography. On the Super Nintendo version, if you noticed, when I looked at the auto map, I hit a different button and it showed me the complete map. Like, I had completely auto mapped it already. It's not supposed to do that. There's, there's no key in the game that's supposed to show you the entire map already mapped out for you. Again, fucking dumb. Big error on the Super Nintendo version's behalf. Glad I get this out of the way by video 3 and not fucking video 300. Anyways, Lug Lug. We made him evil. I decided to move him over to evil to kind of correlate with Ronstock a little bit better. half Orc Barbarian, level 6, 108 hit points. You know, you can read. The other thing that I'm not a big fan of in the Genesis version is the rounding off. You can look at the experience. I guess for whatever programming reasons, they used K for a thousands units. So I have 55,000 experience. The problem with this is when you go to buy weapons and armor, it'll say this weapon cost 1K. Well, if you have 1,000 gold, you can't buy that weapon because what it's really, what the weapon really costs is like 12, 1300 gold. But for whatever reason, until it hits 15 or more, the game will round down or up based on uh, a five, the tens unit or whatever. So that is a little bit of annoying, but it's still not enough to deter me from continuing with this version. There's also a really cool fast feature for getting through battles quicker on this. And I'll just show you. This fight here always had a sludge monster. Well, I already killed him, but let's go around this way. Okay, well, Wing Steed, I don't know. We've gotta kill Pegasus. I don't. Another thing that's weird about the Genesis version is I haven't found a single gym yet. And I've been searching chest. Now, granted, I haven't done much fighting outside of the arena because all I've been doing is. Um, power leveling to get back to where we were, but. We got ten monsters here. Keep fucking up these steeds. But anyways, what you can do in the Genesis version if you want to hold down the A button and watch what happens. You go super mode. If you know you can beat the battle and win, 
You can just hold down that button and it'll auto attack. And when we start fighting 250 monsters, that's exactly what we're going to need to do. Or it's going to take a long fucking time. There's a trap. Let's hope Low Wing can get it. No, he can't, because Low Wing's theory still sucks. I got some gems finally. Her fucking ray. Just gonna save those up. I've already done Nord's Quest where we went and got the gold goblet. And that's pretty much all we did with the Super Nintendo version, besides me show you how to come here level in the arena. So I attack, and then we just hold down the button. Just trying to show you a little bit of difference with the monsters. If you're not rushing the combat like I am and, you know, basically doing auto battle, uh, it's a lot more fun and engaging than the Super Nintendo version as well. The Super Nintendo, something just felt wrong about the combat. Now, this kind of feels wrong too, but you have to remember they included this, this auto feature to just basically everyone just attacks, melee, because you fight so many enemies. I don't think it was a great idea. In fact, when we move to Might Magic 3, you're going to see that all the monsters are limited and you can see them from a distance so once you kill the monsters they're, they're done for the rest of the game uh, I think that respawned at certain points I don't know it's been a, two decades since I played but uh, it's not random like it is here and there's certainly not 200 or 100 or even 50 monsters at a time so that's how the arena battles are going There are other little differences, but the, the main thing for me, the big changeover, was the fact that the programming wasn't broken. The censorship was also pretty big here, I can show you that. Now when we go to the bar called the Slaughtered Lamb, the name was changed because Nintendo didn't like the word slaughtered because they're a bunch of fucking pussies. A low mumble emerges from the middle of the road crowd. Amber, a sultry waitress, asks, Do you wish to order from our vast menu of drinks? And if we're going to have a drink, Orc Beer, Straight Shot, It Elixir, Academic Age, Rare Vintage, and Mystic Brew. These Orc Beers and these names were all changed. Anything that Nintendo did not see, deem family worthy was all changed. I'm surprised they didn't cover the cleavage on our tits more. Generosity is something, something. I just donate go like that because I'm rich. Anyways, let's continue on uh, doing some quests here. Nordana Moons. I kidnapped sons are held captive by the cruel kobolds in the cave under this town. You braved this treacherous place for my brother. Now rescue Drog and Sir Hyren. And I'll reward you well. So we have another quest to go rescue back in the caverns where we were. Jesus.
I can still very well die, trust me. This is the, that's one of the reasons why I don't like not being able to see their hit points. There's no way to you can't strategize as nearly as much. And that's kind of a problem. Super Sprites! You don't want to auto attack on these guys. You're gonna get fucked up. I need to unequip the bow on Lo Wang. Ronstock can make some, uh, do some damage in this. He's got high enough strength. Seventy six battle, fourteen hundred eighty three fucking experience. And that wore us the fuck down. Forty one gold, four gems, and Luglug -lug found a plus three battle axe. You find all kinds of crazy shit in this. It's so much different than the first Mind Magic, where it's super rare to find magic items. And this, they just fucking toss them at you left and right. remove curse or we're just gonna have to go for it luckily I saved back in town so if I die here by a fucking ninja The other thing is it's not just the first three monsters that get to attack you anymore. Like, fuck it, everyone can hit you. That ninja just got hit for 92 damage. That's definitely weirder in this than it was in the first game. I, I, so far, I prefer the first game for sure. It just seemed more strategic. This is just like here's a mass load of dudes, and good fucking luck. Be able to get better over time. It's cool that you're fighting so much different shit. I kind of like that. Like you have this band of crazy monsters and NPCs and characters that have joined together, and like you know, who knows? Other adventurers or partiers in the dungeon. Trying to get to the treasure before you. But it's a bit overwhelming. I 
think it's game over at this point. Shares with 45 and five gems, and Lug Lug finds a pirate's bow plus two. And we figure out what all this shit does later. Because you get a lot more magic shit, like I was saying. However, we need to cast some cure wounds. Cure wounds doesn't take any gems, thankfully. Another thing I like in this one that you can do, remember the first one when we shared, we couldn't, we, our fighters ended up taking a share of the gems regardless. They got at least one fraction of the gems. Here you can go to trade, gems, all of them, give them to Ronstock. Because Lug Lug doesn't need them, but Ronstock's going to be casting a lot of lightning bolts. Same with Trog, trade, gems. Awesome feature, definitely... A good thing they went that route. So now, Viper and uh, Low Wing, I believe, will get spells eventually. But for now, you know, it should definitely all go to Ronstock. So now we got 36 on our Cleric, 75 on... Yeah, we're fucking good. We're good. Probably want to heal some more though. Uh, low wings fucked up, and clock could use probably another boost. So can Ron stock. Could go power cure, which will do a lot more, but it also is going to cost me gems, and I'm trying to save up on those. Low wind. Cobalt headquarters, keep out. We're going to mop through those fuckers. Watch the rats. The rats didn't do that in the fucking Super Nintendo version. At least I don't remember them doing the whole little mouthy thing. There's there's definitely more animations in the Genesis monsters. Pretty damn sure. I have to go back and, and really look. But I, I noticed uh, on the Hermit and a few of the other characters, they were doing it a lot more. Explosion! Low wing is he's not a rock he's not quite as good as a robber. Uh, so we get beat up. And we have this lantern that we keep using, which way better than a fucking cleric spell. Alright, so we got some cobalt captains. We could shoot him. Cast some lightning here. And it's time to wipe him out. Drog and Sir Hyren, thank you and flee. Like little bitches. So if you want to see where that is on the map where we went, basically that's the entrance there and the uh, 
east side and then we just went up and right here was where the uh, upper left corner is where the two guys were the goblet was down there in this room now, I didn't search uh, in the Super Nintendo version I, I showed you guys where all the signs were and where all the different messages were but haven't done that in this one Because uh, honestly, it feels more difficult. So I prefer to go back and save before I died. Now in the next might now in the, the next might magic and every might magic after that, you can save pretty much wherever you want. Might magic one and two, however, you can only save in the end, so I have to sign into that registry. Get rid of these curses. Love having the wizard eye spell in the upper right corner, that's huge. My grateful sons are now available for hire at Middle Gates Inn. I reward you with information to help you gain untold riches. Travel through portals to all towns, donate at the temples, and visit Feldekarb Fountain. So now we can actually go get some hirelings. Which I don't think take from any of our gold, so they're good to have. And what I do plan on doing with this LP is showing you where and how to get all the different hirelings in the game. Now we have this big, big, big party. Uh, but we have to, of course, get everyone in the correct area here. So let's check out our new companions, Sir Hiron and Drog. A human knight and a human barbarian. And great, they're level fucking one. with no experience. Maybe we won't take them. Uh, you don't have to share experience, so that's okay. Should probably leave them in the back. Although I feel like that doesn't help at all in this. in the Mage Guild. Eventually I need to come here and get the Pathfinder and Mountaineer skill. And we'll need it on two characters for it to be actually effective. Mr. Green Glow of an Ancient Key catches your eye. The locksmith opposite for 500. I don't think we want to buy any of the keys yet. Well, Donna's gone fishing. Well, fuck her. So 
So I think at this point, we can maybe go explore outside. Without being completely annihilated. Well, actually, we need to get these guys equipment first. Like I have to buy it and then trade it over to them. So scale for the one guy, ring for the knight. Ah, and I got fool shit. Actually what I'll do. Let's see here. Got that fast cutlass, that battle axe. Really wish you could see the uh the bonuses. It's a damn shame you can't. Cutting out, obviously, leveling NPCs, things like that, but I do want to show you, again, how you can rescue them, because a lot of the NPCs you get, it's because you find them out in the wilderness, or you rescue them from a quest, things like that. It's not just like you go to the inn and there they are, which is pretty fucking cool. Scale armor to draw the barbarian. Lug Lug does not like it because he has... <laughs> Trog definitely doesn't like Drog. Hey, you have my name with the D. Okay, I gotta save again before we head out of town, just in case. You notice Trog has some plate mail plus one, which is why he has 16 armor class. Greetings! I am your guardian Pegasus. Welcome to the outer world of Kron. Beyond these town walls lies dangers and wonders. Should you discover my name, I will help you once per year. Seek me out in the ice tundra. Alright, so these woods, you can't walk through them, but if we had the... The uh, Pathfinder ability, we could. Take the ferry boat over.
The curious looking fellow walks easily over the turbulent river, yet no bridge is visible. I'll teach you my secret ways for 50 gold. And I believe that gives us the water walk ability. Right there. the volume at about 45%. If it's still too loud in this video, I'll go ahead and turn it back down. I had it down from when the video started because I was talking about why we made the change. This is a little under the level of sound that I had for the original Mind Magic once we got things all situated, so I figured this would be okay. Well, can you? Drink from the fountain. That gives us lots of accuracy. That sets all of our characters' accuracy to 40. It gives us a nice little buff. Revealed before you is the partially collapsed entrance to the legendary Korak Cave. We want to pass through that shit. Alright, I saved before I came down here back at town. There's the flesh eaters, and as you can see, the arm that he's carrying is not a club, it's a little wiggling fingered severed arm, which is awesome. Right, we should be able to beat these guys, no problem. These are all undead. That don't have much of a chance. Come on, low wing, you can do it! Yay, he disarmed it! Zombies! This is another character that we could not hurt if we were male in the Super Nintendo version. Look at that, Sir, Sir Hyron attacked no problem. Oh, Trog took him down, no problem. Everyone's doing damage. The Super Nintendo version of this is fucking bunk. A lot of people just got put to sleep. Awaken! We're going to attack the Brain Eaters. done. Explosion! Everyone blows the fuck up. These guys came with some food. You guys want to share that food with me? 
Of course they do. Fuck, I haven't bought Wizard Eye yet. Well, there's a way to talk to the spirit of Korak in this level, but I'm not sure how yet. Might need something else to get us there. Strange, you can just attack anyone. It's like everybody is in your face. It's not front row, back row, it seems like so far. Fuck it. guys did it stand a chance lots of undead down here always makes Clot happy. There was nine monsters and now there's three. Viper's disease. I don't think Claude has cure disease, yeah, just cure poison. So yeah, I think we need some kind of key. We will come back to Korak's Crypt later, I suppose. I'm not sure if there's random encounters on here. They must be really rare if there is. back to town I'm fucking scared Two noobs can probably train. Well, so can.
Cool. Doesn't cost me money to train them. Well, hell, before we wrap this video up, because I'm not going to do too much more on this particular video, let's go ahead and... We'll do the... We'll go to, uh... Atlantium. Super easy once you've done it a few times. Getting a shitload more hit points. I kinda like to tra train everyone together though. Just gonna hang on to my gold for now. Oh, I can fly. Sweet. I don't even have to fuck with the portals anymore. Pirate's Bow Plus 2 must be pretty good. I'm going to have to check out all this stuff and get back to you. Mighty Whip Plus 2 adds some strength as well. This stuff we can all sell. This is poop. Folks, that wraps it up for this episode. Stay tuned for more Might and Magic. Two, Gates to Another World, the Genesis version. Yeah, baby. I kind of like this Tinny Rinny music, too. It brings me back. <laughs>